Ever wondered how great inventors and problem solvers come up with groundbreaking solutions? Well, there's a method to the madness, and it's called TRIZ. TRIZ, an acronym for Teoria Reshenia Izobretetelskik Zadak, is a Russian phrase that translates to Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. This ingenious method was designed to simplify and systematize the process of solving complex problems and fostering innovation. Its beauty lies in its universal applicability, transcending boundaries of disciplines and industries. Whether you're an engineer grappling with a design challenge, a business leader seeking innovative strategies, or a scientist wrestling with an intricate research problem, TRIZ offers a structured pathway to find potent solutions. So if you're intrigued by the idea of turning the art of problem solving into a science, you're in for a treat. Buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of TRIZ, an approach that turned the art of problem solving into a science. To understand the power of TRIZ, we first need to go back in time. Our journey takes us to the mid-20th century, to a young man named Genrich Altschuler. Born in the Soviet Union in 1926, Altschuler was a man of many talents. He was an inventor, a science fiction writer, but most importantly, he was the father of TRIZ. In his early career, Altschuler worked in the Soviet Naval Patent Office. Day in and day out, he was exposed to a plethora of patents and inventions. This constant exposure sparked a curiosity in him. He started to question if there was a pattern, a method to the madness of invention. This curiosity eventually led him to develop the theory of inventive problem-solving, or TRIZ as we know it today. But why did Altschuler feel the need to develop TRIZ? Well, he observed that many inventors were often stuck in their thinking, unable to move beyond certain boundaries. He believed that by identifying and understanding the patterns in problem-solving, inventors could break free from these constraints and innovate more effectively. So, in the late 1940s, Altschuler and his colleagues began to examine thousands of patents in a systematic way. They sought to identify the commonalities and patterns among successful inventions. It was a mammoth task, but their hard work paid off. By the 1950s, Altschuler had formulated the basic principles of TRIZ. Since then, TRIZ has continued to evolve. It has expanded beyond its original focus on technical problems to encompass a wider range of challenges. Today, it is a comprehensive system of problem-solving tools and techniques that is used by organizations and individuals around the globe. Despite facing numerous hurdles, including imprisonment for his radical ideas, Altschuler remained dedicated to his work. His unwavering commitment to TRIZ has left a lasting legacy, transforming the way we approach problem-solving and innovation. From a Soviet naval patent office to a worldwide phenomenon, TRIZ has come a long way. At the heart of TRIZ are a few core principles that guide the problem-solving process. Firstly, let's talk about ideality. Now, ideality doesn't mean perfect in TRIZ, but rather, it refers to the ideal version of a system where all the desired functions are fulfilled without any harmful effects or costs. Think of it as the best-case scenario, where everything works precisely as we want it to, without any drawbacks or negative consequences. Next up, we have the principle of contradiction and resolution. In any given system or process, contradictions are bound to occur. These contradictions can be technical, such as a product needing to be both light and sturdy or physical, like an object needing to be both hot and cold at the same time. These contradictions could seem insurmountable, but TRIZ provides a systematic way to resolve them. It encourages us to look at the problem from a different perspective, to change the conditions, or to break the problem down into smaller, more manageable parts. Lastly, we delve into resource analysis. This principle revolves around the efficient use of resources. In TRIZ, resources are not just the tangible materials or components of a system. They could be anything from time, space and information, to even the harmful effects of a system. The aim is to maximize the use of these resources to improve the system or solve the problem at hand. Each of these principles provides a unique lens through which we can examine and solve problems, pushing us to think outside the box and find innovative solutions. These principles form the backbone of TRIZ, 
guiding problem solvers to innovative solutions. Now that we understand the principles, let's explore the tools that make TRIZ a powerhouse of problem solving. First, let's dive into ARES, or the Algorithm for Inventive Problem Solving. Just as the name suggests, it's a step-by-step -step guide to help you navigate through complex problems. It's like a roadmap that guides you from the problem to the solution using a systematic and logical approach. Next, we have the 40 inventive principles. These are general solutions or strategies that have been abstracted from the study of hundreds of thousands of patents. They're categorized into five groups, and each principle is a different way to resolve a contradiction or improve a system. Then, there's the contradiction matrix. This tool is a table that cross-references 40 contradictions or parameters against each other. By identifying the contradictions in your problem, you can use the matrix to find the inventive principles that may help you solve it. Trends of technical evolution is another fascinating tool. It maps out the common patterns in the evolution of technical systems, allowing us to predict how a system might evolve in the future. Substance field analysis, on the other hand, is a graphical tool that helps us understand and model problems. It involves identifying the substances and fields involved in a system and how they interact. The Nine Windows, also known as the System Operator, is a tool that helps us consider a problem in the context of a larger system and over time. It encourages us to think outside the box by considering the past, present, and future of the system and its supersystem and subsystems. Function analysis is a method of dissecting a system into its constituent functions and understanding how they interact. This can help identify unnecessary functions or reveal ways to improve the system. Trimming is a tool that helps us simplify a system by removing parts while retaining its functionality. It's all about achieving more with less. The concept of ideality and the ideal final result are at the heart of TRIZ. They encourage us to envision the perfect solution where all problems are solved and the system operates without any drawbacks. Resource analysis is a tool that helps us identify all the resources available in a system and how they can be leveraged to solve a problem. Patterns of evolution is a tool that helps us understand how systems evolve over time. It can provide insights into potential future developments and innovations. The Smart Little People model is a tool that helps us visualize a system by imagining that it's operated by tiny, intelligent beings. It's a fun and imaginative way to understand and innovate a system. Separation principles are strategies for resolving physical contradictions, such as changing a parameter of a system in time or space. Lastly, standard solutions are prepackaged solutions to common types of problems. They are derived from the study of a vast number of patents and can be applied directly or adapted to fit specific problems. All these tools are not standalone. They are interconnected and often used together in a problem-solving process. They help us analyze problems, generate solutions, and predict how a system might evolve over time. They push us to think creatively and systematically, turning problems into opportunities for innovation. Armed with these tools, any problem becomes an opportunity for innovation. But how does TRIZ work in the real world? Let's take a look at some examples. First, let's dive into the automotive industry. The airbag is an essential safety feature in vehicles today. But have you ever thought about the problem-solving process that led to its invention? Using TRIZ, we can break it down. The problem was clear. How can we protect passengers in the event of a collision? The contradiction was between the need for a hard shell to protect the car and a soft cushion to protect the passenger. The resolution came in the form of the airbag, a device that remains hidden and compact until needed, then inflates to provide a soft cushion. This is a classic example of Triz's inventive principle of separation in time. Next, let's consider the development of non-stick pans in the culinary world. The contradiction here was between the need for a pan to heat up to cook food and the desire for food not to stick to the pan. The resolution came with the invention of Teflon-coated pans. This non-stick surface allows the pan to heat up while preventing the food from sticking, a clear example of the inventive principle of separation of opposite properties. 
In the realm of technology, consider the evolution of the smartphone. The initial problem was the need to carry multiple devices for different functions. A phone for calls, a camera for photos, a computer for internet access. The contradiction was between the need for functionality and the need for portability. The resolution came with the invention of the smartphone, a single device that combines all these functions. This aligns with the TRIZ principle of consolidation. Moving to healthcare, let's examine the invention of the MRI scanner. The problem was the need to visualize the body's internal structures without invasive surgery. The contradiction was between the need for detailed images and the need to avoid harm to the patient. The resolution was the MRI scanner, which uses magnetic fields and radio waves, both harmless to the human body, to create detailed images. This is an example of the TRIZE principle of use of harmless effects. Lastly, let's look at an example from the world of environmental sustainability, the invention of solar panels. The problem was the need for renewable energy sources. The contradiction was between the availability of sunlight and the need to convert it into usable energy. The resolution came with the invention of solar panels, which convert sunlight into electricity, a clear example of the TRIZ principle of use of available resources. Through these examples, we see that TRIZ is not just a theoretical concept, but a practical tool for innovation. The ability to identify and resolve contradictions, to separate properties in time or space, to consolidate functions, use harmless effects, or harness available resources, has led to breakthroughs across a wide range of industries. As we move forward into an increasingly complex world, the principles of TRIZ will continue to guide inventive problem-solving and drive innovation. Through these examples, we see that TRIZ is not just a theoretical concept, but a practical tool for innovation. So, we have journeyed through the world of TRIZ, but what does this mean for you? Well, as we've seen, TRIZ isn't just a theory. It's a powerful tool set for problem-solving and innovation. We've delved into the life and work of Genrik Altshuller and explored the historical context that led to the development of TRIZ. We've studied the core principles of ideality, contradiction and resolution, and resource analysis. We've examined the methodology and the wide array of tools that TRIZ offers, from the algorithm for inventive problem-solving to the 40 inventive principles, and so much more. Through real-world case studies, we've witnessed TRIZ in action, solving complex problems across a variety of industries. The power and potential of TRIZ are truly immense. The beauty of TRIZ lies in its ability to turn the seemingly impossible into the possible. So the next time you're faced with a problem, remember TRIZ and turn that problem into an opportunity for innovation.